So I got the man, the myth, the legend. I got Glenn Mosley here to hang out. Um, you guys have seen him in the YouTube videos of the KBT band. He's hiding behind the organ and the Nico. Mm. Um, unfortunately, we don't get a, sh a lot of shot of his uh, a lot of shots of his hands. What he's doing, but there's some serious magic coming out of his fingers, uh, both on the organ and the keyboards, and in Cubase when he puts the mix together for the session. And he was kind enough to come over and uh, just break down what he does in the mixes for us to get that super creamy, crispy sound that he's getting out of the mixes. So uh, just to start it off, uh, I know you guys have seen this video a little bit, but I just want to say this is what I get out of the Zoom. Uh, this right here, you can kind of see. It's, you know, it's not the best sound. You know, it's like you can tell it's a live band. You can tell we're having a good time, but you can't really hear anything really defined other than my sax. And that's really just because it's cl the closest to the microphones on the Zoom. So, uh, Glenn, if you want to, uh, this is for that same song. If you want to just, you know, bypass everything and let us hear what kind of what kind of sound comes off the console and the or the Midas system that they have in the back and whatnot. All right. Um, and just let us, you know, let's see what you are given from them. Okay, so what does this song sound like when you get it from? Yeah, I mean, I've, I'm going to have my general uh, level settings here, but we'll get, you'll get an idea of what it are. Uh... You know, uh, obviously you've pulled down a lot of stuff just to keep it from being like, Clipping everywhere. Yeah. That there's so much drums and uh, so much everything. Noise, uh, yeah, noise and hi hats. Hi -hats. You've got to be able to isolate or use it for something. You know, right. so we're, we're using it for something. It might as well be super high end. So right. the other right. stuff is, you know, we've we've if we were to use this as regular, we'd have so much different uh, drum sound. And then you we were use the overheads as regular. We'd have a whole bunch of other stuff. You might even get phasing issues. Right. You, you you know it's it's a bad you know a bad situation. Then you've you've got the toms that you've got to deal with that. How do you add that to the overheads? Right. That you're already trying to use for toms, and then you've got maybe some tom noise coming from the hi hat. I would rather de uh, delete uh, or eliminate all of that and just use it for what mm. we don't have. Which is the super ultra uh, top end, right? That gives us that uh, that sparkle. So, so that kind of covered, you know, the high end things. Now, you mentioned before that the chain that you add for the kick drum turns it into Voltron. <laughs> so, can you talk about <laughs> all the, right the way you get the kick to sound the way, and then from there, you know, we'll go into the, we'll just kind of work on the low end and cool. check out the bass and stuff. So, something that they added. Yeah, is the they bought they got those new they got the new X thirty two and that lets you bring in another mic. Yeah. So what did that do to the to the sound that we had before? Yeah, previously we've had uh one mic on the back of the kick. Kinda was giving us this. You can so there's a lot of bass bleeding in Yeah, the ba a lot of bass. So next, um we'll add in Main keys. Okay. Some depending on the day, it could be you with the Nico, or it could be Brandon. Yeah, Brandon t on this day is uh, on keys one, and we'll hear what he sounds like before we do anything to it. Okay. Hold on, hold on. That guitar, right here. Got his strings going along with the uh, yeah with the piano, and I like keeping the uh, piano sort of near the middle, or any of these things that have pad. I like it more near the middle because it has a stereo effect, the pad, and it kind of fills up the track. So if we as a guess, I would have said, oh, I need to make it not cut as much, so I need to pull down like you know 4K, 8K, like that upper stuff, but. 
It's no, it's the 1.6K. That's where like the that's where like the 4K and 8K, those are the overtones of the of the 1.6K. Yeah. yeah, this uh, this is definitely um a way to to kind of bring the instrument less present. What's going on YouTube? I hope you guys dug that little uh little excerpt of that video that I shot with Glenn. Uh, you can check out the whole video over, I'll have a link in the description and some cards that'll pop up. Um, it breaks down over the course of two and a half hours the entire mix that Glenn has put together for all those videos where he had his mix in there. Um, definitely check it out. Uh, really appreciate the support if you guys could check it out and give it a listen. Uh, it helps me out now that I'm here in Long Beach and it helps uh, Glenn because he, you know, put in the time to make all those mixes and whatnot. So it's just... It's just, you know, a good thing to do. Help support me, help support the channel, help support uh, all the people that contributed to uh, the making of those videos that you guys dug. Uh, as you can see, I'm here in the new uh, the new space. Uh, hair's looking a little nuts, but, you know, that's all right. We're in California. Everything is way more laid back than on the East Coast. Um, I should have some, uh, some new stuff coming out pretty soon, which will be a lot of fun. Um, videos of me playing. I had some people ask me how to, how am I breaking down a couple of those cool runs that you hear in, uh, uh, in some of the YouTube videos. So I'm gonna break down some of those lines. Um, you know, just start providing just some quick, you know, here's how I played this in like under five minutes or less, that kind of thing. Uh, all right. Well, again, thanks for checking out the, uh, that preview of, get these, uh, I got this, uh, Got this like windscreen thing on there because there's a ceiling fan in here now and with the outdoors as well you know stuff can get kind of windy and whatnot so just to try to eliminate that wind noise on the mics anyway yeah i forgot what i was talking about but i'm just gonna toss this in there and uh, get this uploaded for you guys all right i will uh check you guys later stay tuned to the channel uh you know subscribe like the videos all the good stuff that everybody says at the end of their youtube videos thanks again dudes later